Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. This beatitude seems pretty straightforward. You get what you have coming to you. But what is mercy? When I hear the word, I think about the mercy rule in Little League Baseball, where if the winning team is up by 10 runs, the losing team gets one more chance to bat, and if they're still down by 10, the game is called. Uh, The winning team has mercy on the losing team by not making them play several more innings through the rest of the game. I also think about the times my brother and I used to play that game where you like twist each other's hands until someone screams mercy, uh, and then the game is over. There are no winners in that game. Um, And both of these examples aren't technically wrong, (laughs) uh, but they don't get at what Jesus is saying in Matthew 5. Uh, Kingdom mercy is more than that. The same word for mercy that's used in Matthew 5 is also used in Matthew 9 and 12 when Jesus says, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. It's also used in Matthew 18 when Jesus tells the story of the unforgiving servant. The story says that a servant owed his king 10,000 talents. One talent is more than 15 years wages. 15 years. Say you make $40,000 a year, That would be the equivalent of you owing someone $6 billion. It is an absurd amount of money. And we don't know why the servant owes the king this much, but he does. And the king forgives the servant of his debt. Hooray! But then the servant turns around and found a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii, which in our example would be about $11,000, which is still a lot of money, but not anywhere close to $6 billion. And that servant threw the other servant in jail until his debt could be repaid. And when the king found out about this, he was furious. He called him a wicked slave and said, Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? Jesus uses this example to his disciples to explain the concept of forgiveness, that God forgives us abundantly, so we ought to forgive our brothers and sisters. Forgiveness is definitely part of mercy. But I don't think mercy is just forgiveness, at least in the way Jesus is using it. When Jesus says he desires mercy and not sacrifice, I don't think he means forgiveness. I think he means a bunch of things that mercy can also mean. Forgiveness and kindness, compassion, grace, empathy, and humility. True mercy, kingdom mercy, is acting consistently with God's promises. Mercy is acting in our world out of the promises God makes to us in his word. When Jesus says, blessed are the merciful, I think he's talking to those living out the promises God makes to each of us. He means forgiveness, but he also means kindness and hope and love. The beatitude makes it sound like we have to give mercy in order to receive mercy, but I see it the other way around. We are merciful because God has already shown us mercy. We have nothing to earn or to prove, but living mercifully is living out what God has already done for us. When you discuss what it means to be merciful in your huddles, think beyond forgiveness. Who do you need to forgive, but also who do you need to show kindness or empathy? When is it most difficult for you to be merciful? Is it with strangers or is it with your family? As we learn more about what it means to be a follower of Jesus, and practice living it out. Be mindful of those questions.